Shut up and sit down. Hey, hello everyone. I'm the Cyber Reef Guru. Welcome to my channel. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I guess except for China. That'll happen in a few weeks. Um, so um, I've been uh, spending a lot of time on break printing a variety of 3D objects with some of the new filament that I've received over Christmas break. And so uh, one object in particular I printed quite a lot actually uh, with a variety of other filaments I've tried with a new PETG filament that I'm trying here. And um, I'm having some issues with some of the areas where it's essentially uh, as near as I can tell under extruding and it's uh, creating gaps. Uh, I'll quickly show you a picture here. Uh, this is the actual uh, you know, the full size vase. I uh, got off a thing of verse, uh, printed it a couple times for uh, different people. But um, in the next picture here, it actually shows uh, in the lower left hand corner here, there's some kind of bumps or ridges. Um, where the filament has uh, what appears to look like cooled too quickly, I don't know, um, and it's separated. Uh, so next picture, try to show a little close up of the ridges. Um, you can kind of sort of see how they're separating, but in the very next picture, uh, when you hold it up to the light, you can see how it's, uh, there are obviously gaps there. Um, this happens only on these outside sort of flames. Um, and only on the ridges or, or, the, or the, the corners. Uh, the rest of the vase is perfectly fine. This is a printed in vase mode, by the way, uh, sliced by Simplify 3D. Um, so I don't know what's going on here. I did notice the last time I printed this with a PLA, um, it was a blue PLA, same thing happened. Um, but the first time I printed it, very first time, I still had that uh, vase actually in uh, purple PLA. It printed perfectly. So. I don't necessarily think it's the filament, but I did spend, um, well, uh, many, many hours printing, uh, show them to you here, uh, printing many uh, little bases uh, with different settings, right the settings on the bottom. And these all came out uh, pretty well. There was a little bit of uh, what I'll call under extrusion um, on these ridges here. Uh, but it wasn't nearly as bad as the big vase, so of course I started printing the big vase. Now I only printed uh, about a quarter of it to just save print time, just enough to show the ridges here. And um, every single one of these on these ridges here and here experienced the same problem. Now uh, I've tried different uh, printing settings, I tried different print speeds, I tried different fan settings. Uh, so far, the, the fan, um, changing the fan uh, setting actually yeah, helped the most, but didn't fix the problem. Um, and uh, so with uh, PLA, I have the fan on uh, 100%, so there's nothing short of, I guess, slowing it down. Uh, with this PETG, I couldn't get the filament up to full temperature with a fan in 100%, so the uh, highest I can order print with right now is 80%, so um, I ordered a sock for the for the hot end, the E3D hot end, and the, and the printer. So, um, so with that, uh, I went off and I'm just kind of scratching my head. Now, I did do run some tests on the extrusion, um, and it, uh, the filament it, it is under extruding, um, uh, well, quite substantially actually. Um, I believe uh, I, I need to run a couple more tests. So, I, I don't necessarily know that that's the problem. And and here's why. So, I, I downloaded the obligatory uh, 3D Benchy. And I printed it uh, with this, uh, this kind of stock settings I've been using with the PETG. Um, and here is the Benchy. Uh, really, probably can't see it uh, too well on the video, so I'm going to show you some pictures. Uh, this is, uh, I just took it off the print bed, so not very long ago, uh, a, few minutes, a few moments ago. And so, uh, first picture here just shows the Benchy on, on the print bed. Uh, you can see it looks uh, pretty darn good. Uh, next picture, different angle uh, off the print bed as well, and then the final picture here, um, same thing. Uh, you can see a little, uh, just a little bit of stream, but um, these pictures are kind of hard to see. Uh, you know, the appropriate uh, lighting here. So, um, I'll show you. I'm going to show you a couple more pictures here, uh, and different lighting. Okay, so uh, the picture you see here is just kind of from the top down um, 
on a, a white background it makes it a little bit easier to see here uh, you can see in, in really the the sides printed pretty marvelously uh, the top here as well and then uh, there's a little uh, there's some artifacts and the uh, I guess uh, the, the base here I don't know what the the decking of the boat. <laughs> uh, there's some what I'll call some holes if you look at it that way. Um, uh, so maybe that's the same artifact I'm seeing on the on the vases. Uh, next picture here is from the side profile, uh, just showing how the overhangs look uh, really fantastic. The side walls look fantastic. Um, layers uh, went down very well, and the, the top here, the, the pipe stem. Uh, looks looks really great. Um, back view, you can see the stringing. Uh, that's the totality of the stringing I got. This is again right off the print bed. Didn't touch it. Didn't uh, do anything to it. But you can see the porthole here. Uh, overhang uh, very very good, and the, the top can be extremely well. So uh, last picture, uh, opposite side, um, just to show the other side. Uh, did a little bit better with the overhangs. Uh, in the doorway, uh, but other than that, uh, it, it came out fantastic. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've seen a lot of pictures of the Benchy, um, and not all of them are fantastic. Uh, in fact, a good portion of them are not fantastic. Uh, so um, I am going to twiddle with the extrusion uh, multiplier in Simplify 3D, and maybe print another Benchy um, to fix the. The holes here that are kind of on the decking. Uh, see if that helps, um, and also see if it has any sort of negative effect on, you know, like the the, the portholes um, or the overhangs or anything else. So um, even on the front here, you can see uh, the uh, the window here. Um, actually, the, the bridging there is, is marvelous, uh, and this is look. This is just stock settings, kind of right out of the box, if you will. Uh, I have been printing a lot with it, so I've been tweaking the settings. But the, the stock settings turned out to be uh, probably the best of, of all of them. So, um, if there are any uh, suggestions or comments, uh, you know, on, on maybe what might be going on here, feel free to leave uh, leave them below in the comments. I would appreciate that. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't uh, like it, please give it a thumbs up. Anyway. And I hope everyone had a great new year and look forward to a fantastic uh, 2017. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.